Hello YouTube, Arbok Lover 1618 back here. I am doing a video on how to access the motor on or actually cleaning out the motor on a well I don't have a Sanitaire SC600 series so I brought my Eureka Commercial C2094 um, type G-1 out as a substitute because it's essentially the same plastic hood same essentially the same switch setup so yeah here we go um, some of y'all who have a Sanitaire SC688 SC680 679 SC680 689 or any of the well 679 would and the 689 would be same as this or 684 even since they all have shakeout bags or now what replaces F and G bags is ST. Uh, wipe any dust off here. And like all sanitaires or Eureka commercials, you take off your height adjuster. You might want to get it adjusted down to one so it'd be easier. Just set that aside. Turn over your vacuum. Sorry, it's a little hard to do sitting down. Take off your bottom plate and all that. Um, clean off any str strings, hairs, or or carpet fibers or whatever that might have got wrapped around the brush roll. And on the plastic hooded 600 series, you'll have two screws, one over here and one over here. Take those off. Put those aside, do not lose them. And this hood should just come right off. Now you'll have a gray or tan hood, that's a yellow one. And there, there is our motor in the 600 series. And this is our power button. That little thing right there just pushes that button down. Oh, and same goes for a Hoover Conquest. A little plastic tab just pushes this down. It, it's not actually your power button. Now, okay, I'm going to go get a... Scott shop towel and be right back okay one thing to notice about most 600 series sanitaires is they don't come with a quick clean base or a quick clean chamber so you pretty much you have to take your entire motor off so with that being said what you want to do carefully is remove these screws and if you have a headlight sis, um, headlight sanitaire that that could be problematic And one over here. Uh, 
Now you might want to put your base screws and your motor screws separately, separate from each other. Because you get them mixed up with your uh, hood screws, you could have problems. Oh, and this, this is not actually attached with anything. It's just a piece of cardboard air deflector. Um, just really cheap air deflector. Um, but it's still, it still is a good thing to keep. And make sure, I, I'm going to make sure, and no... Now, it might not come off by hand, so you might want to carefully um, pick it off with a f flathead screwdriver. And yes, this is a two-way screwdriver, which is hard to set with one hand. Carefully pry this off. And again, I need two hands. Alright. Now carefully. Uh, well. Oh, yeah. Forgot there's a little clip that holds the power switch in place. So. Now that's a good fan. Um... It ain't got sharp ends on it. I think I have a bad one, but I'm not going to show that now. Now, that's that's actually pretty good for a vacuum that's been used really commercially a lot. So, we're going to set this carefully back on our base and reinsert our switch and our switch clip I guess that's a switch clip and there we go Grab a Scott shop towel and wipe your base out. It's not going to be brand spanking new looking, but it'll still look better. It'll look a lot better once it's wiped out. Wipe our motor off. <laughs> All that. Now it's also a good idea to use an air compressor. Now why do I say an air compressor? Because it it'll be easier to it'll be a lot better than just a Scott shop towel. And it'll blow it out a lot better too. Oh, and not to mention, if you have a vacuum that has a option where you could put the hose on the exhaust, like where the vac where the bag attaches, that's also a good idea. Or where you can you can just um, buy a small little handheld with the blower end on it, where you can put the hose on as a blower. So, and that'll work too. So, 
It's not gonna, it's still not the best of condition now, but it's good enough to where it's not crazy dusty. Yeah, a little bit here. And there we go. You have successfully serviced your Sanitaire SC600 series. Well, there's also other things you you could do, but this is all this one needs, really. In fact, I just packed this bearing not too long ago. And last but not least, just put your screws back in. And you want to tighten them down, not too tight. That'll strip out the thread. Remember, these are just a plastic base, and they are a plastic thread. So you don't want to tighten it too tight, otherwise you will strip out the thread and it won't stay on. And there you go. And you place your hood back on. Now remember, this is essentially a sanitaire vacuum. It's got a sanitaire, aka also a, I think it's also actually a Eureka ESP that had the same style hood as this. There was a Eureka ESP that looked exactly like this. Whoops. And there we go. Now, we just put our screws back on. Um, you might want to have a magnetic screwdriver for this because these screws are hard to a little hard to put on yeah there we go I need two hands and there you go screw right here can't see it because it's dark and right here And again, keep that in your motor. I just forgot to put it back in. Well, I actually need to make a new one because, as we can see, this one's badly warped. So, don't blank, don't. So, please put that back in. It's your air deflector. I am going to make another one. Either that or I'll just put that one back in after the video or actually I think I'll do that right now okay now this goes on one way um, make sure you get it underneath this little thing that that little cord that little cord relief right there just like that this one's warped really badly, so it's not going to sit flat on it. In fact, yeah, I think that little peg is supposed to go under the wires. Like, under that wire. Nah, yeah, 
warped air deflector is not really a good thing to keep in your machine. Well, it, it'll still deflect the air, but... Alright, there we go. Alright, and I'll be back. Alright, we're back where I left off. I didn't show the hood reattaching because that's really a, a waste of a waste of my film because I have al I had already done it once. It's hard to see it, but and it's up. Uh, you pretty much get the picture. It's taking it off in reverse. I didn't really unscrew that. Um, but yeah, there we go. And the last part is obvious. You put your bottom plate on. And the brush roll will go in one way. Well, it'll go in both ways, but one way the belt will be exposed and the other way it's covered. And then we put our height adjuster back on. I am running out of film. Well, you get the picture, but it's easier when you're using two hands. And there we go. Bag clips on right just like that. And goes up on your little triangle hook thing. Just like that. And you have successfully, once again, successfully serviced your Sanitaire SC600 series. So, I hope you liked it. I hope this was helpful to anyone who was having issues with it. Um, so, tell me how you liked it. And I'll, I'll keep you posted. Bye, everyone.